Hello and welcome back to Throne Breaker. So, we are heading toward Lyria's capital. It's gonna be a bit of return, apparently. But, uh, we're not in a hurry to get there. And also, we need all the allies we can get on the way, so... Um... Let's just check out this little camp. What's up, guys? I'm just stealing your wood and your gold. Are you guys okay with that? One of them golden sons belongs on the side of my own ship! What? That's it? I'm just gonna... I can just steal your stuff? They don't care? At all? Camp rule, no pissing in the fire. Very reasonable. No shitting next to the tents. I was I was kind of hoping for no shitting in the fire. Uh, I think that should be on the list. Uh, but yep, yeah, that's that's reasonable as well. No shouting at dawn. Huh. You break the rules, I break your legs. So clear rules, clear punishment. Uh, by Lippy. Um, but apparently, like, no shitting in the fire is allowed. Well, shitting in the fire is allowed. You can also piss on the tents. Or, or you can just, like, do, do all kinds of things. So this can, this kind of rule system does allow for a, a little bit of, uh, flexibility. <clears throat> anyway. I'm not really here to cause any trouble. These guys obviously are living the good life. So, let's see what else they have. No, that's it. Can we talk to anybody here? Nope. That's it. Elf guardians make for good prisoners. Good slaves, too. Why? Don't leave me hanging. You, you already piqued my interest. Okay. Oh. Seems like everywhere we go, there's like a... Mardrum Vengeance? What the hell is that? Uh, there's someone arguing. Um, we have to sort it out. Mardrum Vengeance? Destroy the highest ally and play two allies from your graveyard. Highest ally? Um, I don't think that's really worth it. Maybe. That's very specific. Also, it's not going to be too useful in a uh, one round situation. I wouldn't necessarily want to uh, remake my deck or maybe end up with a death card <clears throat> in those cases. Anyway, good woman and uh, two guys. What are you on about? Your Majesty, Lippy Gimmon's warriors have started a brawl at the tavern. They have broken pitchers, drained all the barrels of ale. All of them? Even. Eaten the innkeep's cat. Holy shit. Their dancing and revelry is in celebration of their recent victory over Nilfgaardian division. And they show no signs of slowing down. What are your orders? That sounds like a hella good party. Seems they are itching for a fight. Send a few soldiers to bring them to order. Asha, pay for the damage. It's a small price to maintain allies in this war. Yeah, let's do it. I'll leave the beast, not, not our concern. They're just having a bit of fun. Except eating the cat. What's up with that? Yeah, draining all the ale. But ultimately, what are, what are we really getting here? Oh. Why, why taking the neutral approach is like no good? I don't get it. <clears throat> Ultimately, it's it's a small price to pay for a bunch of guys risking their life. Like, drinking some beer? He's, like, again, killing the cat? What the fuck? I don't know about that. But I'm not ready to just kill Lippy and his entire band just for that. What's a folk moving about of late? Hmm. Unhelpful old man. Hope you, someone's gonna shiv you pretty soon. One evening, soldiers brought before me the elf she had saved from a lynching. Holy. It seemed he had been the fiend who had poisoned the water barrels from which several soldiers had drunk, then suffered and died. Yes, I did it. 
and I regret it not one bit. See, the elf. Nilfgaardian, Temerian, some brute from Lyria, you Dwan are all alike. I detest you. All of you, your filth for what you've wrought with my brethren. I'm proud, I am, that even a few of your kind perished at my hand. Hail and Shay. Meave pursed her lips into a thin white line. Reynard knew the expression. It did not bode well. You're dying? I, I think he, that, that must be it. But, you know, Squirtle, you got a bit of a problem here. And that's why you guys always gonna suck. It's because you got a situation. Humans are a bunch of racist assholes who don't treat you as equals. Great, you got a problem. They also got the upper hand usually. So, what's your solution? To be racist to humans. Fucking great. And kill them. So, the thing is, Squirtel and the humans, the same bloody thing. You know? And although, and if the Squirtel is in a situation where it has an edge, then it kills the humans. Humans in a situation where actually humans are might be, be better because, I don't know, I wouldn't really say any side is really better here, but uh, the Squirtel definitely uh, more likely to take extreme measures. And the humans are, are just, just taking advantage of the uh, Squirtel. Well, I'm saying Squirtel, not everyone's part of the Squirtel, uh, just the elf and dwarf minorities. <clears throat> My point is, Squirtel, you're not really helping your own case. So unless you can just like take out all the humans, uh, you might as well fucking do nothing because uh, that would be better. Or maybe just make your own damn communities. Holy shit, Squirtle. So yeah. I should drag you to the capital, hang you high in the market square. Meave said through gritted teeth. Yet this you would want, am I right? For your folk to speak of you, for your folk to remember. Well, you shan't have it. You'll hang here, in the middle of nowhere, with but crows to witness it and then pick at your eyes. It was a summary execution. No sentence was read, no last wish observed. The elf's corpse then hung long at the roadside, as none came forth to claim and bury it. I don't get it, why even bother with the hanging? I would just like stab him, you know? Not really. In it to draw it out. I suppose, like, we probably have a rope and we can just, like, put it on a tree because that's kind of how it looks like, but, like, even that. Like, the thing is, those who are hanged might not necessarily die right away. Their, their neck might snap, but uh, some actually just, like, uh, well, they usually die pretty damn soon. But, um, my point is, like, why? Why why not you just kill him fast? I don't get the whole hanging part. It's basically just ritual murder. Oh. That apparently makes it more okay. I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, just like why make a ritual murder out of it? Hey mister. Awaits your return, your grace. Nice! That's my son, right? Okay. We're making good progress. Uh, not that way. So apparently, I can just only go toward Home what is last, called the main quest. Mm -hmm. We shall not enjoy it long, I fear. Soon we must face the black clads in the field. Yet a moment's peace we will have. After that drubbing you gave them at Dravagrad, they'll wish to rethink their strategy. Oh, look at that! We actually got some guards here. What's up, lads? <clears throat> You're approaching an important moment in your journey. If you choose to continue, you will not be able to resume any unfinished activities in this area. You spent eight hours here, completed all the quests and the puzzles and the battles, and I found... Well, almost all the golden chests. God damn it. I don't care. So let's go. Turn back. No, we're going. Neve had ridden out of Lyria in early spring. Her retinue modest, as none larger was needed for the brief summit of sovereigns. 
She returned now to her capital, at the head of an army that dragged behind it bandits and Nilfgaardian prisoners in chains. The whole city came out to greet her. Its traders, craftsfolk, priests. Also, her eldest son and heir, Prince Willem. A boy who, it seemed, might never be prepared to rule. Unimaginable. Look at this guy. He's my son and all, and he's like 12, and he's like, he's still not ready to just rule this land. What the fuck, man? Just, you gotta man up. Unbelievable. Get some balls, son. Rode side by side past the cheering throngs. Their faces frozen oh. in regal smiles. It was not until they reached the castle stables that they found a corner in which to speak freely, candidly. I misread. Um, <clears throat> I thought, like, cheering. Never mind that. Like, what? Uh, the black stream? Welcome home, That's more mother. like it. Content I am to see you, to be sure. What the fuck, Willem? We talked about this shit. Look at how you look like. What is this? It's way too fancy. You gotta dress rough and tumble or whatever. Look at that hair. Disappointed in you. You literally have my own hair. What the fuck? You're a bit of a mama's boy, aren't you? <laughs> this guy needs a, a male role model. Uh, I mean... <clears throat> Hey, son! It's nice to see you! And I'm happy to see you. Though I dare say I'd have been much happier to witness you leading an army towards Dravagrad. Yeah. Uh, just in case it wasn't clear, uh, son, I'm grinding your balls. Yep, that's right. Oh, I even like his cheeks. Aw, rosy pink. Villem. I trusted you. Left the realm in your care. What the fuck, Willem? You gotta man up. Like, look at look at you. Like, okay, you're not 12. You're more like 11. Okay, not 11. More like, I don't know, 16? I don't even know how old are you. I kind of forgot. Oh, you can't really blame me. But, holy shit. Look at your hair. You look like you're just trying to pick up, uh, like, some noble guy at the back of the inn. Who's, who's into, like, um... Well, never mind that. Never mind that. It's it's not a lost cause. Indeed. And I, in turn, did my utmost to choose the best course for... Oh, this guy might be a tinker. Uh, that's good. Did you? Because, uh... This plan, I, I suppose, has a lot of uh, <clears throat> hotheads. Just like, oh yeah, good thing to do. But no. Uh, okay, Willem, I'm listening. Willem, don't be so damned courtly. There's no one else here. Yeah. My son. I am. Nilfgaard has invaded our home. We're at war. When rulers don't strive and don't choose, when rulers grab their swords and shields and ride out to defend their subjects. Oh, that's quite, uh, <clears throat> emotional of you, Meef. Yeah. He does have a different personality. We don't really click. I'm more like a, a trying to appeal to feelings kind of gal. And he's more like, hmm, you know, it doesn't make too much sense. Also, he's young, so... Uh, he, he could be right. I'm kind of curious to hear out Willem. Other than the fact that he is clearly a big uh, mama boy. He could be smart. You didn't let me finish. Oh, okay. I'm actually open-minded. Uh, at least, maybe me not. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious. Tell me, tell me what's up. Not like I really made up my mind or anything. <clears throat> All right. Say what you wanted to, please. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I feared I'd be hasty, Mother, and I didn't want to be. When we got word of the invasion, the Lords convened at the castle. They demanded I hear them out. They wanted to give me counsel. Well, I'm actually all for that, as long as they are not, like, uh, uh, disrespecting you. They're just like, I'm gonna teach this boy. 
you know? It's it's more like a well, they are actually counseling you. So okay, was it was it really that? Because you know, if it was just an innocent like, hey, let's just like put our heads together, I'm all for it. But it's more like a, a political dick stroking. I don't like that. Sorry, misters, count me out. If I'd rushed into the field to confront the foe, I, I'd have been half blind to the situation, not known all the options I had at my disposal. I can respect that. Also, uh, it's pretty important. Like, now we have some sort of force we can use. And it's pretty important to use that force. Uh, well, at, well, use a, use a combined force to try to take out the Neo Guardians, preferably uh, piece by piece. So, the last thing we want is just like rush in with an army and they just die, and like, that's it, we lost. That's not good. Okay, Willem, what's the plan? A ruler never knows all the options. Yet he must decide and act nonetheless. Meef, that's stupid. I'm... It, it was literally like, come on. It was literally like, it's not all the options, but like, some options. Come on, Meef. Like, what did you achieve, really? Now you're just picking on your son because he's like, Ooh, I wanted to know the options. No, what did you do? I just like had like a small group. You came here. You're not doing so hot yourself so far. I need to prepare. I'll see you at the Council of Peers. Sure. And indeed she did. When the Peers convened in the throne room. Surrounded by animal hides and Zeracanian tapestries, the Lord stood in tense silence, awaiting the Queen. When her figure filled the doorway, they fawningly prostrated themselves. What? Prostrated themselves? Oh. Uh -huh. Um. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that word. And it, and it kind of makes this uh, a sentence uh, sound a little funny. Anyway, this Willem seems like a nice guy, except for the fact that he has a very questionable fashion sense, uh, obviously, heavily influenced by mine. And that's just not some work for you, boy. You know, if not for that, and maybe a little bit more confidence, but of course that comes with time, if he does the right thing, then, you know, Willem, I like you. You know, he's a good boy. We've myriad matters to resolve, so I trust you're well rested. Whatever the case, I've no doubt we shall meet the dawn before we're done. Sure. Firstly, we must ask assistance. Pen a letter to King Demavend. Scribe, take this down. Dear... What? Uncle? Cousin? Blast. Again. I, Meave, by the God's grace, Sovereign of Rivia and... I... Get to the point, Meave. Your grace? Mother, the peers and I, we've come to propose another solution. I'm all ears, Willem. Yes, out with it. We wish to acknowledge Nilfgaard's authority, pledge fealty to the Emperor. That's retarded. That's that's like the plan F. Maybe you're completely fucked. Oh, look at my facial expression. Oh my god. Willem is like... You go the poker face. I'm disappointed in you, son. That's the best you could come up with? That's not good. The thing is, it... Well, it, it, it's truly just gonna be a plan F, you know? If we have no other choice... But what are they gonna do, really? They're just gonna get control over all of us, and they're just gonna enforce their rule. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe we can propose some kind of alliance. I... We can try that. But it's pretty important to keep our... Our... Our leadership. I think. Because I don't believe Neofgard has good intentions. Neofgard is just coming here to be... Um, to expand. Gonna be second-rate citizens, uh, most likely. At least for like uh, a few hundred years, I believe. I beg your pardon. The black-clad hordes outnumber our forces manyfold, 
and they're far better equipped. We stand not the slightest chance against them in open. That's true. Like, Vilan does make some good points. That's very rational of you. And, uh... I'm not sure. Like, Vilam does make a good point. But don't we have other options? I think we need to... Uh... Explore other options. Because the thing is, we go down... And probably whoever is next to us is gonna go down... And that's just gonna be... A big... Nobody... Big, uh... <laughs> well... How should I put it? That's, that's just not... The thing is, if you could just allow ally with uh, our neighbors or whoever because this is just gonna come for them as well and stand against the off guard that would be pretty sweet if you can do that you will not lecture me about Nilfgaard's army my son all you know of them you garnered from colored renderings whereas I faced them at Dravagrad I faced them and crushed them Eve come on you crushed them at Dravagrad Great, but it doesn't change the information. The facts that they outnumber you. You're not gonna win against Nilfgaard. It doesn't matter what kind of experiences you have with Nilfgaard. It doesn't change the facts. But your grace, the losses. For this fleeting victory in which you delight, how many of your subjects had to perish? Bend a knee for the emperor and you shall spare thousands. Nay, never! Understood, Caldwell. Not ever! I'd hoped to persuade you, but it seems I've failed. Nonetheless, the die's been cast. We've signed the accord with Nilfgaard. Our noble lord stand with me. The blood left Meave's face. She had realized her son, who had ever professed to detest politics, and shirked his duties as crown prince, had just stabbed her in the back, as had her entire court. What is this? Treason to my eyes! The gallows is what awaits you! Willem rules Lyria now, and should you not acquiesce and approve the accord, I fear only you, milady, shall have the pleasure to meet the hangman. What? Don't get ahead of yourself, Caldwell. My mother will not be harmed. Not one hair on her head. Understood? Confine the queen to the tower. You err deeply, my son. Yeah. The queen was confined to a cell. Gilded armor she had traded for a simple robe. A courtly retinue for a swarm of rats. She was the very picture of misery. At the window of her cell, gripping the bars, Meave stood powerless, her anger so great she wept and wailed. Her Lyria was free no more. Well, this uh, situation certainly sucks. That, that was really the best outcome. All the nobles are just like completely retarded. But, you know... We didn't have a plan either, so as much as we feel betrayed, we didn't have a plan, although uh, I suppose overthrowing us uh, was just the necessary step, because I would have never allowed this to happen, but uh, ultimately leading uh, people to their deaths would have been pretty bad as well. So just to recap, I don't think Meef could have uh, what was the right call to handle the situation. But I'm not sure if Willem actually did everything in his power. And also, I wouldn't trust the nobles to really uh, hold the best interests of the people. Alright, let's see. Obviously, we are locked up and we need to get the hell out. Oh, come on! I lost all my cards. Have I come at a bad time? Oh, you came into my cell? Holy shit, if I kill you, I'm gonna have food for months. Demons take you, Caldwell. You've long been at this scheme, haven't you? You left the strays of Sparla to roam the realm, to forage, so that I would have to look to them. 
and thus gained your cohorts the time they needed to complete Lyria's sail to Nilfgaard. That makes sense. You've seen through it all, that's clear. After the fact, of course, but still. I guess I needed to be here. I'm not nearly the poor strategist you thought me. Well, that remains to be seen. You're pretty good at betrayal, but I'm not convinced that this course of action is uh, gonna even help you. <laughs> Villain, you turned him. How? Must be his mustache. The boy's not fit to wear the crown. Hasn't sufficient wit nor valor. I know this. You know this. Just he knows it not. <laughs> well, that's not really surprising that uh, a young kid uh, is not quite ready to rule the land. Willem fancied himself a statesman, which terribly to prove he was one. I made it possible. I've been amply rewarded, I have. Palatine since just yesterday, in fact. Mm. You'll have neither my blessing nor congratulations. Sorry to disappoint you. I seek neither. I've come for another reason. To bid you adieu. Well, how appropriate. Uh, where's that shiv that, that I just made? I was just about to stab you. Willem does not seek your death. Does not even fathom it, as you well know. Moreover, his resolve will wilt in time, and he'll wish to free you. So, come the morn, when the young king rides out to pledge fealty for General Epdahi, you shall use your bed linens to hang yourself. Oh, thanks for telling me. I didn't know about this plan. Huh. Coldwell. That's great. I didn't know you cared so much about my well-being. But do you really want to die this much? You're standing in my cell and threatening my life. You know, you know... They're not really putting this together? You also betrayed me. The chance of me killing you right now is pretty high. Even that mustache not gonna stop me. Go apply yourself, Coldwell. Coldwell don't do this. How about kill Coldwell? No, I would have I would have like killed Coldwell like five minutes ago. Well, I guess we can tell him to go fuck himself. I see. You wish to see me bow for you, lie prostrate, beg you for mercy. I don't think he cares about that. Plow yourself with a pike, Caldwell. And you needn't send your thugs. I'll not falter nor hesitate. I'll take my own life. Yeah, that'll show him. Adieu, your grace. And use your last evening wisely. Me felt a rush of despair yet bit her lip to mute any weeping. No, she would not give Caldwell the satisfaction. I don't think Caldwell cares. Morning arrived with the sound of footsteps in the corridor. Meave rose from her cot and stood in the center of her cell. She was prepared for anything. Well, nearly anything. Am I getting busted out? The Duke of Dogs. Wait, what? Titles seem senseless under the circumstances, don't you think? Let's forgo them. I'm Gascon. I like it. Now, well, I don't care about titles either, which sounds a bit funny as a, as a past queen. Has Caldwell sent you to kill me? A no and a no, actually. You're free. <laughs> well, thanks for that. How shall I put this? That cad, Count Caldwell, used yours truly and the strays as bait in a scheme aimed at kicking your shapely backside off your throne. Yeah, and you feel bad about that? Now, I'm hardly vindictive. 
first to forgive, in fact. Take your threat to send me to the gallows. Forgotten already. Yet being played for a fool, I cannot abide. Well, you and me both. So when the strays freed me, I knew what I'd do to spite the counter before I disappeared. I'd free you. That's to say, on one condition. I'm all ears. You've got to request it of me, my lady. Courteously. Fuck, this is not your sexual fantasy, Gascon. What the fuck? In that case, please free me. You're my only hope. As soon as I know. <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Please help me. Please. Oh, could. Oh. I bid you, please. Okay. Is that gonna work? For my realm, I will do this and much, much more. Huh? Even bow for a brigand. <laughs> sure. Thus, I beg you. Gascon, Duke of Dogs, grant me my freedom. Gotta be thinking back about this moment. Ha! Incredible! <laughs> I'd live to see someone grovel with dignity. A true ruler you've got to be. <laughs> you are free. And grateful. Now please let me pass. I must what? get to the city jail at once. He had like, he had some spare clothes for me. Would you look at this woman? Free her from one prison, she flies off to the next. They hold Reynard there. And if I've any ally left, anyone who's not betrayed me, it's him. I must get him out. I don't know if you're really in the position to get people out. Old my lady. Unarmed. Alone. <laughs> Have I any other option? My god. Are they gonna help me? Hmm. In a sense. See, they locked a few strays in the city pits, too. Got a common cause, I'd say. Care to join forces? Uh... Gaskin almost makes it sound like that he's joining me. But apparently... But actually, he's the one helping me big time. I'm the damsel in distress here. The Queen took Gascon up on his offer. Then she, Gascon, and the strays snuck through the city to its dungeon. Reynard had not wavered for a moment in his devotion to the Queen. Never the slouch, he had also not lost any time. I've inquired among the other arrested soldiers. Many are prepared to fight, even die at your side, Your Grace. Seems they may yet get their chance. But now we must flee. All of us. Yeah, but I'm not exactly sure how this story gonna go. Because if this story gonna go in some way like, Oh, what's up? Then after after that, we uh, push back Nilfgaard. That's gonna be a little bit unrealistic. Because uh, we kind of passed up our best chance for an organized uh, defense. And now they're just kind of like... Well... I don't, I'm not exactly sure. I was in a cell. I guess we need more information, but I just assume that they kind of uh, did, did something to weaken our 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 our, our leadership at least. Oh. We'll see. Yet in leaving the jail, the company ran into trouble. When Caldwell's cutthroats had failed to find Meave in her cell, waiting for her secret execution. They had informed the Count. He, in turn, dispatched patrols into the streets. The Queen and her cohorts ran into one such unit. Blast. We shan't outrun them. Two arms! God damn it. Um, unbelievable. I actually missed my own suicide. Find an escape route. Once escape route is found, gain more points than your opponent within three turns. Uh, let's start the battle! <clears throat> uh, that's only a one turn battle. Gascon? Bloody hell, where do you get to? Your Grace, we must make haste. Coldwell's roused the whole city by now. How do I get in there? Use a dark alley to escape down. That. 
Oh fuck, that's not the bomb. Boost ally. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing. Oh, maybe I should uh, buff Odo. Sod it, sod it all. Sure. I guess I don't have much of a choice. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Do I need to? Don't lie this. Well, I guess he's gonna show up later. I didn't think I'd leave you just like that, did you? But I did. Honestly, I did. I don't think it's really uh, chance based. Uh, Else we could have find it. Like we could have found it randomly before Gascon shows up. What is this? Set a row on fire. Sounds pretty interesting. How about play Lyrian Sightman? Ah, should have listened to me all later. Clear inside, man. It's gonna boost everybody. And then we see that. Oh, look at that! Another guy! So, we can guess. So, either we need to explore all dark tunnels, or maybe it's gonna be one before last or two before last. My vote is two before last. So that's what I'm voting on. Game? Mister, are you gonna make a move? Maybe I should just read my cards. Hey, war, you dirty tart. One bolt uh, Kinda like the idea of setting a room on fire. Strazel Spala, pretty good. What guarantee do we have that they won't stab us in the back? Well, we got nothing. And that's just good. How good is setting a room on fire? Hurt. Let's just uh, find out. Oh, we want to play Strazo Spala pretty soon. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> okay. Boost the unit by five. Move three cards from the other row to. Don't know about that. Okay, let's play the cavalry. The chase is on! And uh in the dark alley. Oh shit, we found it. There we go. When this card's timer expires, the city gates will shut. In that moment, if Mead has less points, he will lose the battle. Hook, we need more points. The straits of spa should be good enough. Give me a target. Hmm, there's anything else we can really play? So what does the set row on fire thing do? Boost. So now we can boost. Three turns. How much I want that? Setting a row on fire. Let's say we go with that. We don't use Odo, but we do use Trace of Spala. My favorite cut of lamb, the Wait. shank. Yeah, let's just damage all units. Preferably, we hitting something. Yeah, just hitting all. 
Okay, that seems good. Uh, that seems weak. Again and again and again. Does the rose stay on fire permanently? What does fire do? Oh, 33% chance of damaging all units on the row by two. This is odd. Very odd. Huh. Maybe we're gonna play it. Okay, maybe we're just gonna play the bomber. Watch your heads! <laughs> it's it's a good way to generate some value, especially when it triggers. Yep. GG! Apparently that was enough. I thank you, Gascon. You and your men for your aid. Love the hat. Oh, come on, you gotta come with me. Says now, my lady. Strays never say no to a proper brawl. No brawl this was. Sun rising against mother. Lyrian striking at Lyrian. I fear a blood war's begun. Yeah, that doesn't sound particularly nice. Come now. Seems to me the war's ended. Your realm's lost to Nilfgaard. You've no army to speak of. Yeah. I, I hate to point out, but the Gascon is pretty reasonable. Then I shall assemble a new one. And with it have Caldwell hanged and drive Nilfgaard back across the Yoruga. <clears throat> um, Eve, I have to point out this uh, outfit is really doing it for me. Also, Gascon. Like, I, I like all the outfits here. Pretty nice. <laughs> You're mad. How will you find the men? Riding from hamlet to hamlet, speaking from atop a crate. <laughs> No. I shall find them in Edurn. I have a favor to call oh. them with King Demavend, and I'll sway volunteers to my cause on the way. But that sounds like a plan. That, that would have been even better. Yeah, uh, yeah. Imagine if we did that right away. We just rode back, ignored the strays of Spala and whatnot, and just like, damn it, maybe it's my fault. Spent way too much time in the countryside. Well, you've your first willing warriors already. You? How so? We've nothing left in Lyria. Our hideouts are compromised. Caldwell's sure to set a price on our heads, and Nilf guardians roam the land in numbers. Besides, I'll be right tickled to see proud Queen Me fighting elbow to elbow with a bandit she'd wish to hang just a half day afore. Wait, what? Half day? Ah, it must be. I'm just joking. Because it kind of feels like like a half day. <laughs> but no. Uh, more time has passed. Quite a bit. Well, it is said my foe's foe is my friend. Yeah? And I'd be a fool to turn down assistance now, no matter who offers. So be it. You don't have to change his mind while you're accepting his help. Oh, nice. I was actually wondering about this, how the game is gonna make me uh, switch up my deck. Because I, I got a... I had a pretty sweet deck uh, going on. And apparently uh, that's how it's gonna... Because it's gonna take away my cards. Alright. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay. Very high-minded of you, my lady. So, shall we shake on? Nay? Well then, the high road beckons. Though first we must escape the city with our lives. Follow me. Yeah, maybe that should be like... Uh, first thing uh, that we should do before like, Oh, nay, yeah, that's great! Let's just do the next thing after that, then the next thing after that. How about we just, we just escape the city first? Yeah, I'm a little surprised that, you know, like... Uh, they're pretty chilling here, like, yeah, yeah that's, that's okay. Apparently it seems like night, 
Wasn't I supposed to be hanged in the morning? Or, like, uh, before? Uh, before lunch, at least? But no, apparently, it's already night. Maybe I'm just mistaken. I'll just go. If anyone knows a way out of here, Lirio it's gotta be Gascon. No more. Meave now had to flee her capital and realm as quickly as she could. Wont to travel the city streets in a gilded carriage, the Queen now saw them from a slightly different vantage point. Ugh. Is this the only way? Are you quite certain? The Queen is a common fugitive now, so she'd do better to pinch her nose and whinge not at all. At Ugh. long last, me escaping the, the sewer. Gate. Yet this she found shut tight, locked and guarded. Gods be damned! Easy, your grace. Nothing we can't solve with a quiver full of quarrels. Those are our men. They were, Reynard, were. Gascon's Wait. raiders were poised to loose their bolts, but were thwarted when the Queen stepped out in front of them. What she... Your Majesty? I... I've orders to arrest your grace. Place Join me in me. irons, then. Please understand, I, I haven't a choice. Fear not. You'll be rewarded by Coldwell in Nilfgaardian Florence. The captain's head dropped. His cheeks burned crimson. Go, your grace. Flee now, but only to return. Remember this, Gascon. I'm no fugitive. I'm a queen, robbed of her rightful crown. And though I may need to venture to the world's end before I return, I shall have it back. That's a spirit. Right? Having fled Lyria, Queen Me ventured into Edirne. Her old friend Reynard and new ally Gascon at her side. The war had bitten into this land too. Still, Meave hoped to sway King Demaven to her cause and, with his aid, to oust the traitors, retake her throne, and drive the Nilfgaardian invader from her realm. Yet to start, she was forced to fight, Scoyatel no less. Emerging from a wood, Meave's retinue encountered a unit of elven rebels just moments from hanging a handful of prisoners. Among the latter, the Queen spotted a woman, a proud warrior with a striking, thick black braid. The lass I believe I know. Well, unless we rush to her rescue, it'll soon be you knew her. Well said. Lyrians, attack! Yeah, let's get him. This is quite long. This whole escape. He shouldn't let Black Rayla die. What? Is she called black because of her armor color? Only one round. <clears throat> Do we have? Well, this is like a 12. This is like a... That's actually pretty good. That's good in long ground. Wait, what special rules we have here? Fuck, I don't know. Ah, uh, that could be interesting. I think we need some Leary incitements. I don't think we need this guy. This isn't like a 12. What is this? After two turns on turn start boost self by the power of the unit on the right then move to the opponent's side um if the ai is smart this could be terrible um blitz unit from the deck how many blitz units i have if in hand, deck, or on battlefield, strengthen self by bomb whenever an enemy or allied card is moved. Okay, so he has a synergy with the uh, slingers. 
Uh, maybe we kick this guy. Oh, Rivian Pikeman? But I don't know how many I have. I guess we might just go with that. Having some loyals would be nice. I have four of those. But, yeah, this is the cooldown reduction and one. Hang okay. the butcher! Veloa! Erin! She can't save. breathe, your grace. Okay. We must rush to a raid. We need to save Black Rayla by killing executioners somehow. Oh, with movers. Oh, fuck. Turn start. Crap, maybe I should have had, uh, kept more movers. I. Okay, let's just go with that. Do I need to... Nay. Do on vacamest. Uh, win by points? Oh shit. So these don't need to be on the same row. How am I supposed to take these out? To mark a unit. I don't think we have the tools to uh, save Black Rayla now. Okay. So I can just spam, spam slingers and maybe do a Lyrian Horn after that. Maybe it's a way, maybe we can save. The thing is, does this ability... Oh fuck, it's immobile. Black Rail is immobile as well. The moving won't work. Oh boy. That's not gonna apply. I don't think we have the options to... Uh, to save her, so I would need to kill the Scoyatel uh, Executioner. It's not about the points. Yeah, I think we gotta use uh, Stray's Cavalry and uh, a bunch of... Uh, well, at least some Stray's... Slingers. Maybe with some uh, Stray's Bombers. I think we got a forfeit and restart uh, real quickly. So I need to prioritize damage and control. That's good. Uh, that doesn't matter too much. I think that's gonna be too late, but might might be relevant. Uh, that's interesting. How many... I have only three Rivians. But that could be good. Uh, I do... I will have a highest ally. I don't know if you need two bombers. The bear could be like a good, good play. Syrian horn. What do I want? What would be even better? Having some of those guys would be nice. Overall, this seems okay. We're gonna have one guy to use with the Lyria Merlot. That could be good. I'm not sure if we're gonna need the Stray's Cavalry. But it might be relevant. Also, if I have enough movers, then we're not gonna need two bombers. I just got that. I don't know. I think we might just try it with this one. Hang the butcher! Veloa! Okay. Apparently she is a butcher. She can't breathe, your grace. We must rush to her raid. Hmm. 
I just assume that we might need some points. Catch! Oh fuck, those are emo bar. I just realized. I'm being dumb. Wait, what? How can I? Yeah, let's boost. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have boosted that. I can move something in the back. Oh, I moved this. Never mind that. Oh, that was actually pretty handy. Now we will see who is weak. The elves scatter them. They block our path. Oh, this is problematic. So movers definitely don't help me. The only way I have... This gives me a 33% chance of success. No, it's too late. Okay. So I need to be... I need to go easy on the movers. This this is nice. Movers not so much. Uh, Strace Cavalry. I think that's interesting. Again, I am... Going very light on the movers. Uh, I don't think that's gonna help me. Hang the butcher, Veloa. Okay. Nay, Duanve came. She can't breathe, Your Grace. We must rush to our aid. It's already boosted. I think that idiot is gonna just use that up uh, right away. I smell a leak. So, I'm not gonna boost. He's gonna use up the Alvin Archer ability. Wait, what? Oh, all the units on the row actually has a chance? Strace Cavalry. We'll catch them all! Uh, let's hit that. Again, not using the hero power. Wait, isn't that supposed to... Turn on turn start is gonna take one damage, but... Free oh yeah, warrior. at my turn start. Uh, apparently. What is this? You are the lowest enemy. If it was destroyed, double this unit's power and refresh this order ability. Uh, that's not okay. Cooldown two. Gotta save Black Rayla. But how do I do it? I don't know how to do it. Square the executioner. So we got two turns. I, well, playing the Strace Cavalry or... Yeah, it's not gonna help me much here. What I can do is... Play a little incitement and boost it. This needs to... Yeah, I can't kill that. It needs to take random damage. Because we can't move it. It needs to take two random damage from the fire. Aye. 
If it doesn't, we just... Uh... Wait, what? I, yeah, I think that's gonna do it. It didn't. Wait, what? None shall tread on us! The elves! Scatter them! They block our path! Oh my god. Not only, but this guy needs to stay on the board, right? Of the card that marked it. The chase is on! Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, what the fuck? So, movers don't help me. Stray cavalries help me a little bit. Uh, that definitely doesn't help me. But it can be helpful. Actually can be helpful. Uh, that seems pretty tempting. Also, I don't have a choice. I don't have a chance to really change my deck here. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, how many guys have really got a mark? I don't think realistically a lot. Yeah, I don't know about that. I suppose this works a little bit better with the spy. What the fuck is this? Hang the butcher! So bad. Also, we can't really play. Uh, she can't breathe, these... Grace. We must rush to a raid. So I'm playing the bomber. Don't shake we that. are not boosting because that's bad. Because he, this idiot is gonna. It's it's best if we just not boost this guy at all. But I need to start doing some damage. We can move Rayla. Um, that's the best I have. I can't change the deck. What the fuck? Do I really need to win by RNG? Free the warrior. Seems like it. I don't know if it, it really makes sense to mark twice. I think that's it. We just need to get lucky. It doesn't work. We already lost. Okay, explain. How am I supposed to win this? Movers can move them because they're immobile. This doesn't help me. This doesn't help me. I need to deal damage to him. it's left. This is not relevant either. Unless I place some kind of a dude next to Rayla, then we make one guy the same power as the spy and we get the dude back as an 8. I don't fucking know. But I don't have a spy right now. Uh, it's not about the points. So it seems like the best strategy is to light the whole fire, get lucky, and the... Catch. It doesn't seem that bad, but basically that's the strategy. We didn't get lucky. This is terrible. 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 
terrible. The chase is on. Am I missing something here? Wish. Oh. We can win that way. Free the warrior. As much as I would love to shut down the Alban Sentry. I do want to shut down the Alban Sentry. What if I play the Slinger? Bigger they are, easier they are to Apparently I can't hit it. So maybe there's a possibility of wait what thing about slings they hide well maybe there's a possibility like this what the fuck move three cards to the other row on their side if any were units damage them by two never mind that um Let's do that. Now we will see. Apparently, I just weak. made the wrong assumption. The elves scatter them. They block our path. Cooldown two. Uh, yeah, that's that card is problematic. Also, I can't leave that up, can I? Not really. Hey. Okay, something like that. Uh, also, it's not the I only unit on the row. So maybe I made a mistake with that. The lowest unit. Always do us the lowest unit. Huh? Well, well Black Rayla doesn't die. My spirit's willing and Black Rayla didn't die this time. <laughs> There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. It's apparently gonna hit the lowest ally. Okay, something like that. Transform a damage unit into a bear. Is it not gonna trigger? Should, right? It doesn't. Okay, seems like we're winning it. Apparent well, hopefully Black Raider will not die. Okay, welcome bear. Nah, look at that. We got some points. And that's it. Well, that's a win, and we got Black Rayla. Hopefully, the game is gonna be satisfied with that. It was silly of me to assume that we deal damage to a unit after we move it. But that was the only sense. And that was the only way to really save Black Rayla. That we tried to move in movables. When the last elf hit the ground, the queen had her men untie those they'd sought to hang. Oh. A thousand thanks, Your Grace. Her many tales of your valor. Pleased to see there weren't just flattery and propaganda. I'm. Oh, I like this outfit quite a bit more. This is a better team. Black Rayla. Hagger, we saw you there. You command King Demoven's special forces. That's right. Though not many remain to command. So I see. How did it come to this? My liege sent me to wipe out a Scoia'tael band. 
led by a rat called Eldane. Followed the vermin's tracks for several days, straight into his trap, turned out. Hunting elves in the woods. Truly inspired, I must say. Had no choice. Doing nothing would have brought a sure a swifter doom. The Black Clad have invaded Edurn, thanks to elven aid. They snap our supply lines, lurk like dogs, prey on vulnerable units and scouts. You mean to say Nilfgaard's broken your defences? Aye. Though their march will soon halt, believe me. To advance, they'll have to take Rosberg, a stronghold that's yet to fall once. They'll break against its walls like waves upon the rocks. Well, um, do not share your certainty. You know, the Neofgardians have a lot of dudes. I'm glad you guys are still holding out. While Edurn stands, the North is not yet lost. I'll convey your grace's words to the king at the first occasion. I'd rather hope to convey them myself. I have come to Edurn seeking aid. I wish to ask Demavend for support. The king is in Rosberg. Overseeing siege preparations. I'm heading that way too to report on our skirmish with the Scoyatel. I might serve as your guide. These lands I know better than any. Well, you're welcome to tag along. Excellent. Guide on. Exactly. You go first. Ashes that turn! Okay. Finally, time to take a break. Let's see. New map? Holy crap. Uh, yeah, uh, we have uh, quite the journey ahead of us. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for now. Actually, look at that. We also we, we got our gold and, and wood from last time and the same amount of dudes. Well, I guess um, I, I got a really nice place. I hid all these planks in gold. Holy crap. Meave, you, you, you're pretty crafty. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.